Hello dear viewers, myself Nasir and you are watching Mr. Zali's YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to write a literature review. First of all, you need to know what is a review article. A review article is a type of secondary literature that talks about previously published work. Means to say, a review article is not your own, but you have to write in your own ideas of the work that has been done previously. So a review article gives an overview of existing literature in a field that can be uh, specific. So often identifying specific problems or issues and analyzing information from available published work on the topic with a balanced perspective. Means to say if you are going to write a literature review, you will have to study different articles that are explaining this topic in a brief. And uh, a literature review is a critical summary of all the published works on a particular topic. Means to say, for writing a article review, you will need to analyze the topic in a deeper sense. It analyzes specific issues as well as it uh, identifies trends in research. It points out the research gaps in the existing literature. Means to say, you are not going to write their work in your own words, but you will also have to find the research gap they have left in their uh, previous researches. How a literature review helps scientists and readers? For, for readers, uh, they will be able to form an idea about the current state of understanding on a topic. Means to say, uh, for a general reader, it will uh, give him an idea that which work has been done on this topic and about how much, and which people have discussed this topic earlier. And it will also help reader to decide whether to read each article individually. Means to say, when you're going to uh, write a literature review you will have to read uh, the article thoroughly to uh, uh, gather its whole information and next, next uh, scientists will be able to uh, learn about developments in the field as well as to find gaps in research identify new topics of research you will not only uh, write in your audio, own ideas as well as you will uh, provide some gaps present in the research and you will also point out some areas on which further research can be done on these topics what are the chronological approach uh, describe each work in succession starting with the earlier uh, information available means to say if the work has been done from 2023 to 2020 you will have to discuss 2023 first because it is recent most use this structure when you want to focus on how ideas or methodology have progressed over time uh, as well as group and discuss your sources in order of their publication date means to say uh, with reference to their publication date which work has been recent you have to write it first record the research and developments in each group uh, check how the field has developed over the years do all studies discuss a common topic for example how models for treatment methods for skin cancer in children have developed over a specific period you will have to uh, discuss it in a chronological approach so what is chronological approach and thematic approach uh, you can write your literature review using one of the following approaches chronological means with the uh, time sequence you can write it whereas in thematic you can write about the whole world has explained that topic the uh, let's discuss in detail about the thematic approach organize and discuss existing literature based on themes or theoretical concepts you feel are important for understanding the topic means to say these topics can be skipped but uh, if you want to add them in your literature review you can also add them Remember that you need to do much more uh, than uh, summarizing each study means to say you have to analyze deeper as either the information is correct or not. Analyze existing knowledge on the topic with regard to certain important issues means to say you have to be confined on your topic when you are write, uh, writing a literature review or uh, writing a review article. Draw the reader's attention to new uh, angles or perspectives means to say you are writing uh, their concepts in your own ideas means to say you are giving some new uh, uh, improvements in their ideas. You cannot add on your own but you can write their ideas in your own words. Just start listening uh, citations uh, you may include in your paper. And what can be the structure of a literature review? A literature review typically has five sections means to say introduction, methods, body, discussion and conclusion and at the end uh, there will be reference list. So you have to provide a literature review for each and everything you will mention in your uh, research article. Introduction sets some uh, context provide information about the field of study means to say your introduction will provide 
uh, about uh, information about the discussion or uh, the work research work you are doing on that topic next method means to say uh, which relevant method you have applied how you have collected data and next is body that will be according to chronological sequence means with time sequence you will arrange them uh, in a uh, chronological sequence as well as in a thematic approach as well and uh, after writing the body you will have to write about a discussion and conclusion means to say in body there will come uh, results uh, and af after that you, there will come discussion and conclusion so some uh, you will have to summarize and you have to discuss the results you have gained from your research work and at the end there will be reference list uh, these can be according to uh, APS style or ML style that will be uh, more suitable according to your own institute provided so you have to do the final checklist after writing all these or after following all these steps uh, choose the right topic it means to say you have to choose the right topic on which the previous work has been done or you have, or something might be present over the uh, websites that provide uh, articles check the literature you have chosen it means to say you have to check uh, either its bibliography is present or not or either uh, the uh, content contains the reference that is mentioned above in the uh, either in the introduction material method result conclusion or conclusion or discussion and these uh, must have to be pondered take notes while reading means to say you have to uh, carry all the information or all the articles on from which you have gathered data decide the format of your review means to say different universities have different formats for writing an article or a thesis or a literature review keep the focus specific and interest general means to say you have to be concise according to your topic analyze critically don't summarize uh, means to say you have to uh, critically analyze all the information available and you have to find the gaps as well and to provide some new topics that have to be discussed get the structure right means to say you have to write in the uh, right structure like that uh, first comes the abstract then introduction then material method after that there will be result and at the end there will be concluding discussion and the last and the most the uh, last most uh, uh, list at heading that comes at the end that is references rely on feedback means to say uh, set feedback form uh, as well so people can provide uh, feedback that can be either positive or negative or can review your publication and be objective means to say you have to be uh, specific or you have to clarify the all the objectives you are uh, mentioned in the title of the uh, review include other uh, older studies means that you have to also provide some information and on the uh, work that has been done previously or as well to mention some uh, new findings that will come in that can become or that can be achieved in the near future so that was the video for today i hope so you enjoyed we will meet in the next video till then peace out